Hello and welcome, I'm Johnny and you want to be fearless in your live demos, confident in your tests and I'll show you how with MSW, Mock Service Worker. Maybe you're building a contact form and want to use SendGrid to send emails. Maybe you're taking payments for a product and are integrating with Stripe. In either case, your frontend is doing HTTP calls and you want to control the result. And you want to control the result because maybe you want to do your own exploratory testing as you're developing. Maybe you're pairing with your designer. Maybe you're demoing to the whole company. Maybe you want your automated browser testing tool to test its cases. Maybe you want your unit test to do the same without focusing on implementation details. The scenarios can't go on forever, but the answer to everything is Mock Service Worker. MSW will intercept HTTP requests, handle them exactly as we please, and set us up for success. So let's set it up. First thing we gotta do is bring in the dependency, then run npx msw init public slash dasta save. Public represents this directory, and the command will add this configuration to our package station, as well as create a mock service worker JS file in there. We don't need to worry about it, and we must not modify it, but you can come back to read it later if you want to peek behind the curtain of service worker magic. Next, we need to decide on our directory structure. Most examples use a source mox directory. Let's create an MSW server TS in there. We'll set up server from MSW node. This method needs to be fed handlers, so let's nest a handlers index yes, from which we'll export an array of all our handlers. We'll come back to explain and write some handlers here later, an empty array will do for now. So let's feed it all our handlers by spreading the array, and all that remains now is to start this server somewhere. And when I say somewhere, it's either going to be before our Next.js server starts or before our Zest server for tests starts. The Next.js case is more complicated, so let's do that one first. Next.js is both a backend and a frontend, while our MSW server can only run on Node. So let's copy and paste it to create an MSW worker. Use setup worker from MSW instead and this will be what we want to run on the browser. Let's create an index.ts, which will be responsible for understanding whether we're running on Node or the browser. A common way to know is to check if the window object is defined. If we do, we're on the browser. If not, we're on the backend. So if we are in the browser, import the worker and start it, Else, import the server and make it start listening. Great, where to run this? Underscore app will run before every page we render, so let's get in there, dynamically import mocks, and then set up mocks. And we can see on the console, MSW mocking enabled, so we've done it fam. We may want to wrap this in an environment variable check. In production, we'll probably want to hit the real APIs. In any case, if our app tries an HTTP request, so if we submit our form, MSW will warn us that there is no handler set up to intercept it. By default, MSW lets unhandled requests go through. Our form is submitting a POST request to our own Next.js API route, API slash contacts, it's where we'll integrate with SendGrid, but for now I'm just logging. This just cost us one pence, cheers. Our email delivery service integration is not important for this video. What's important is to avoid bankruptcy. There are a couple services with generous free tiers, but even a thousand emails aren't that many when you've got automated tests running every time you save a file. If the stakes aren't high enough for you, you may imagine that we're integrating with something that's super expensive or which rate limits us to just a few requests per hour, and we don't want to block development by running out of our quota. Anyways, let's set up a handler so we can stop fake spending those pennies. Again, we won't worry about the SendGrid integration yet. What we want to mock is that API contacts route. 
and I like to mock all these local dependencies within an API subdirectory. So let's create API contacts TS. MSW does support GraphQL queries and new testings as well. But what we want to mock now is a good old REST request. Let's define our contact handlers array and define a REST.POST request which responds to API contacts. These handlers are very express inspired if you are familiar with that framework. For now, let's just return a response with a no case at this code of 200. Finally, let's spread contact handlers into our empty array back in the index file. If we submit the form again, we can see that it is indeed hijacked by MSW. So we can get on developing until our lovely toast appears just like we want it. All right, success toast looks good. And what I love doing to enable quick and fun demos, as well as tests with less boilerplate, is to add a bit more logic to the mock handlers. In this case, we know this should be hit with a post request with a JSON body, which should have a name, email, and message. Let's type that and say that if the email in the JSON body includes error, we're gonna return a bad response, a 500 with a description for the error. The form will still submit just fine, but when I wanna demo the error handling, I can submit with an email like say at error.com and well, nothing happens because we ain't really handling yet. We just get our error in the console. So let's create our lovely toast for failures. Awesome, we can now demo different scenarios without changing any code or redeploying. And we could extend still, for example, if we wanted to account for the server-side validation failing. Let's say we don't want absurdly short messages, so we return a 400 for bad request when the message is too short. If we were using a browser-based test runner like Cypress or Playwright, we could instruct it to fill in different things according to whether we're testing happy paths or edge cases, assert things behave as expected, and deploy with confidence. But what if we wanted our test tests to use MSW? Test tests will always be faster than browser tests, so maybe we want to test our edge cases there, or maybe we want to unit test our integration with third parties. Well, in that case, we need to start our MSW server before the test tests start running. So let's open our setup tests file, import our MSW server, and say that before all, we want to listen. After all, we want to close. And after each test, we want to reset handlers, which will clear any extra handlers we've added in individual tests. This is useful if you don't like the magic setup which accounts for everything style I suggest, but prefer bespoke setups for each of your tests. In any case, now we can add automated tests for what we've been doing so far. We fill in the form and get the toes we expect. And we can even TDD our third type of toast for when the message is too short. Awesome. Now, we could go even deeper with TypeScript and abstract classes in memory and console implementations just for the MSW handlers and our tests, but we've already gone over so much today. Thanks for sticking around this massive episode. MSW is a handful, but it's worth it, trust me. Name drop MSW in front-end interviews, use it for fearless demos. People will be impressed. If not, send them my way and well. 
I'll show them mucking. Until then, thanks a bunch for watching.